Those ivy pouches, vials of blood. Did you know that's what's washing up on our beaches? News Channel 5's Amy Libman spent the day with people who think they know why this is suddenly a big problem. Amy. Friends of Palm Beach have combed through our beaches every weekday for nearly two years now, and while they've been finding medical waste for a while, I'm told the amount of it really increased after Tropical Storm Emily. Waves wash shells ashore and seaweed and needles. As many as we found, it never ceases to amaze me how <gasps> startled I am. Friends of Palm Beach workers go on a daily hunt for trash along the beach. Plastic pieces. But they're also finding medical waste like this hypodermic needle. Vicki Reisdorf came across it the other day. I thought it was a bottle cap trapped in the seaweed and I went to pull it out and it just kept coming. She also found a vial of blood this week when she was sifting through the seaweed. It's potentially hazardous and like this plastic bottle. So this little guy comes all the way from the islands. Friends of Palm Beach founder Diane Bueller says she thinks the medical waste is coming from islands in the Caribbean as well, where trash isn't always disposed of properly and it ends up in the ocean. Gulf Stream brings it north to us. Today, a medicine dropper. Other times, IV pouches with the line attached to it and the needle as well. Just IV pouches. It's a needle. I'm so glad that I found it before child did or someone stepping on it unknowingly. Bueller says they fill up a biohazard container every two weeks. They turn that into the fire department to be disposed of properly. They also collect 400 pounds of trash each week. Live in the newsroom, Amy Littman, WPTV News Channel 5.